I'm sorry for those who watch uh, YouTube, uh, you know, after live streaming, or well, I thought I was live streaming, um, I realized Zoom and the YouTube didn't connect well uh, this morning. So I have a whole service posted on my Facebook account, but uh, today uh, I will skip the chanting and just uh, directly go into the explanation of Wasan Pong. So please join me in Gashio, please put your palms together. Giba Gakko Nen Goro Ni Zesen Dara To Haji Shimete Fugi Jushi To So Shite Zo Jao No Gyakushin Isame Keru To Jivaka and Chandra Prabha earnestly admonished the king, saying such acts were those of an outcast and that they could not remain in the castle should he persist. Thus they try to quell his lawless impulses. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Naman Da Butsu. Naman Da Butsu. So, now today we see the names of two people from the Contemplation Sutra. Uh, Jivaka and Chandra Prabha. Uh, Jivaka is famous doctor around the time of Shakyamuni Buddha who followed the teaching of Buddhism. In the Nirvana Sutra, uh, Jivaka recommended Ajatasatru to see Shakyamuni Buddha when Ajatasatru was sick from the repentance for killing his own father. And according to Shantao's commentary on the Contemplation Sutra, Jivaka is also a son of King Bimbisara. But mother is different from Ajatasatru, so they are actually brothers, but uh, they have a different mother. And Chandra Prabha appears in the Contemplation Sutra, but he does not appear in the Nirvana Sutra. And we only know that he was a wise and intelligent person. So these two are the ministers of Magadha kingdom and they advised Ajatasatru not to kill his own mother. And this section, uh, uh, this part is in the Contemplation Sutra. So let us read the section of the Contemplation Sutra. At that moment, a wise and intelligent minister named Chandra Prabha, along with Jivaka, bowed to the king and said, your Majesty, we ministers have heard, as told in the Vedic scriptures, that since the beginnings of the cosmic period, there have been 18,000 wicked kings who have murdered their fathers out of lust to usurp, usurp the throne. Yet never have we heard of anyone who has committed the outrage of killing his mother. Your Majesty, if you should dare commit such an outrageous act, you would bring disgrace upon the Kshatriya class as your ministers. We could not bear to hear of it, for it would be an act of Chandala, and we could no longer remain here. Then the two ministers, after stating these words, grasped their swords and stepped back. Ajatasatru, startled and frightened, called out to Jivaka. Aren't you my friend? Jivaka replied, Your Majesty, please restrain yourself and do not kill your mother. Having heard these words, the king repented and begged for their mercy. So he discarded his sword and gave up his intention of killing his mother. So Shinran Shongin created today's Wasan poem based on this section of the Contemplation Sutra. And because this section of the Contemplation Sutra used the word Chandala, outcast, Shinran Shung used this term in the Wasan too. But what we have to be careful is that these two ministers, Jivaka and Chandra Prabha, uh, used the word Chandala with a bit of intent of discrimination. In their minds, Kshatriya, warrior or royal family caste are the one 
who does good thing and outcast people do whatever acts, even killing mother. So these are the mindset of people of 2,500 years ago in ancient India. And we should now read this section as Buddhism is encouraging discriminating people by the birth or the status in the society. As I mentioned many times in the past, Shakyamuni Buddha did not choose people by the cost. He equally shared the teaching with anybody. So Shinran Shongi just used the expression from the Contemplation Sutra and he did not have any intention of discriminating any people. But some people in Edo period, 17th, 18th century, uh, 17, 18, 19th centuries in Japan, this word chandala was used with a discriminating idea in Japan. And some people sounded like it was encouraging the discrimination by the use of this word chandala. So, as Buddhists or we Buddhists, should self-reflect the history of the use of this word chandala with the mind of discrimination. And we should learn from the past and should reflect it to the future. And once again, Buddhism is not encouraging any type of discrimination. So Shinran Shongi created this wasan not to encourage discrimination by using the word chandala, but he appreciated Jivaka and Chandra Prabha for stopping Ajatasatru from killing Queen Vaidehi. Because it led Queen Vaidehi to ask Shakyamuni Buddha for expanding the teaching of the Pure Land of Amida Buddha eventually. So, once again, don't read the word chanda the word don't think the use of the word chandala as buddhism is uh, encouraging the discrimination buddhism is a teaching of non-discrimination and equality as shakyamuni buddha shared all the teaching uh, teaching with all people um, we follow the figure of shakyamuni buddha buddha's mind of non-discrimination um, and equally, even though it is uh, difficult to accomplish, we follow Buddha's mind. Okay? So I hope today's explanation was helpful. And in closing, please join me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 Namo Amida So once again, I'm sorry for the uh, trouble. Um, I know if you are watching this after the fact that um, uh, we couldn't live stream, uh, you, you don't know what I am talking about. But um, uh, tomorrow, I hope the internet connection is OK and I can uh, live stream the service uh, again as usual. But today, uh, from 10 AM, we are going to have Sunday service uh, from Oregon Buddhist Temple. So uh, if you are able to join us, uh, please join us for the Sunday service from 10 a.m. Pacific time. So I don't know uh, what time it's going to be from your place, uh, but from uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time, uh, we are going to have Sunday service from Oregon Buddhist Temple. So I hope to see you there. Uh, if not, I will see you tomorrow morning. So uh, thank you for joining me for this morning service. So have a great day today.